Hey guys, welcome back to the Watches and Giggles channel. I'm Chris from Chicago. First off, as always, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. It does mean a lot, and I do appreciate it. In today's video, we're going to be discussing my newest acquisition, the Tudor Black Bay Burgundy ETA version, reference number 79220, and my thoughts and feelings after owning it, and a quick review after two weeks. But before we do, we'll see what I'm wearing. And today I have on the beautiful Rolex BL NR Batman Batgirl, whatever you guys want to call it. But it is a beautiful watch and I love it more and more every day. Okay, uh, before we get started with the review, I just want to take a quick second to thank each and every one of you that are still working uh, and providing health care and services to the unfortunate people that are affected by this horrible virus that's going around, this beer disease. Uh, I do appreciate it, and I do thank you guys for your service as you are trying to get the world back to normalcy and back to everyday life so we can get on with our wonderful lives that we have all around the world. So thank you to each and every one of you that are providing a service to the sick. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. With that said, we'll get into the review and my thoughts and feelings after owning the beautiful Tudor Burgundy ETA version. Uh, well, quickly here, you'll notice I have some new swag. Um, I did purchase this from Everest. I am not affiliated with Everest. They did not give this to me. I bought this with my own money, but I bought this cleaning cloth and uh, this beautiful military green travel case, which I can't recommend their products enough. Now they are expensive, but uh, they are very well made. So if you're on the fence, grab one. Okay, let's get into the Tudor Black Bay Burgundy ETA version. Well, guys, I've owned this for two weeks, and I can say that it is a beautifully constructed timepiece. It feels wonderful on my wrist. I do have over a seven and a half inch wrist, but it is very, very comfortable to wear. Uh, I love the dial, the gilt dial is amazing. The smiley face with the rose, it just adds so much character. And then the double rose with on the crown is just beautiful. But how does this watch perform or compared to a Rolex, which is sometimes twice or three times the price of, of one of these Tudors? Well, I can say even though this is an ETA version, uh, 2824, uh, it has been keeping approximately losing four seconds a day. So that's well within the specifications of the watch. Uh, it has been keeping time as well as it should for an ETA watch. And uh, I am absolutely loving the timekeeping uh, value of this watch or value proposition. As you guys know, in my last video, I paid uh, 3000 American dollars for this watch and was very happy to do so. Um, it wears very comfortably on my seven and a half plus inch wrist. Uh, quickly here, let's set this down. We'll get off the back girl. Put this little on there, don't wanna scratch her up and we'll put this on. So the clasp uh, for this before I do is beautifully made, very sturdy. You guys can hear that. It is very solid. It feels very secure um, on the wrist. It, I don't ever have a worry of it of it breaking over. You can see it has a Swiss made there, Tudor Geneve. It's beautiful. So let's just quickly get it. I'm not doing this in any specific order. So let's just get it on the wrist. And there you can see it fits my seven and a half plus inch wrist beautifully. The thickness. Uh, comes in at 12.7, so it's under 13, and it feels solid, it feels secure. Uh, it is a wonderful built watch. Okay, get it off here. And we'll talk about bezel function. So it is a 60 click bezel, and I'll tell you what, besides the Rolex, uh, my Rolex Sea Dweller that I own, the 50th anniversary, uh, this bezel action blows away uh, my Omega that I had. I had the Seamaster 41 millimeter um, ceramic non-wave dial, and this bezel is, in my opinion, guys, light years above the bezel. It is a satisfying, snappy click. 
we'll do it again. And it lines up, if you can see it, perfectly um, with the seconds. It just, it lines up right on the money. And man, it is, it's fun to use. Now, is it as nice as the Rolex? Hold on, there we go. No, it's not. But what do you expect? It's not going to be as nice. The the Rolex is a little easier to use. Oh, what the hell? Let's let's get it out here. Here we go. So, I mean, that's just butter. It, it turns a little easier. It's not as snappy, but I mean, it is. Oh, I mean that. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful there, but you're you're not going to get that from a three thousand dollar watch. But the finishing uh, on the case here, the bevel edge, I mean, is just you don't get that with Rolex anymore, and that beveling and finishing on this watch is beautiful. I was lucky enough to purchase this watch in, I would say, near mint. It wasn't mint, mint, minty fresh, but it was darn near close and. Man, I am over the moon with it. We'll see crown action here. Pull it out, stops, hacking. Um, see the winding? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it does have a little click, but it's definitely a more grainy feel and not as smooth uh, as the Rolex or the in-house movement tutor either, which is to be expected uh, for an ETA. but does screw down very nicely, works perfectly, beautifully. I mean, honestly, uh, I don't have uh, any plans of selling this watch, guys. I, I, I've only had it for two weeks, but I'm growing more and more attached to it and trying to get close up as I can to that dial. And it is a pebbly, grainy texture dial. It's hard to pick up uh, with the camera, but it is, and I'm sorry for the reflection, guys, but you know they don't use AR coding, so it's it's hard not to get my camera or maybe a glimpse of myself in it, so I apologize for that. But you know what? If you're on the fence about this watch, I, I absolutely love it. I really do. Um, obviously, I didn't buy it to sell it or to flip it. I bought it to, you know, wear it and own it. I don't know what's going to happen to the watch market now uh, that we're in the state that we are, but... I, I don't have any plans of selling this watch and I'm over the moon with it and I love it to death. You know what guys, uh, I won't take up any more of your time. That's gonna conclude today's video. Thank you again so much for joining me today, guys. It does mean a lot, I do appreciate it. Stay safe and stay healthy out there, guys. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.